everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be doing some DIYs for Valentine's Day. And naturally when we think of Valentine's Day we think of romance. So it's only fitting that I do some candle holders. I see the Dollar Tree has these back in stock so I decided to grab them. But this one is warped. So this time around I'm going to be using some red crushed glass. And guys I found this at a thrift store. I think this came, yeah this initially came from Ikea. So you may be able to find it there. Um, I know that you can find it on Amazon and I'll link it below in the description. I think I found about eight jars of this. So I'm definitely going to do a giveaway. So if you're interested in me doing a giveaway, comment below and let me know what you think about it and what you would do with your crushed glass, okay? All right, so let's get started. I have a box and I'm just gonna put some crushed glass inside the box. I'm going to go ahead and remove the label from the bottom. So here's the skew in case you need it. All right, so now I'll put some Mod Podge in this container. You do the same thing just like you would with the regular crushed glass. Um, but there's one other thing that I will do different with this and I'll show you later. So I'm just going to put my hand on the inside and just brush on the Mod Podge. Be generous. And then just pour on some clay. Remove the glass from the bottom. Once this dries, I'll come back in and add more crushed glass in the open spaces. Next up, I have this base that I found at Dollar Tree as well. Here's the skew. Now I like the idea of it being two different colors, but I need for it to match my glass. So what I'm gonna do is tape off the top and then spray paint the base silver and then red. If I just go in with the red, it's gonna take too many coats to cover this blue. Um, I could go over with white first, but I don't have any white spray paint. So I'm gonna go over it with silver and then red and I'll show you the paints in a minute. I'm going to take some tape from Dollar Tree, some masking tape and tape off the white section. So I'll go ahead and tape the rest of this up off camera. Then I'll go in here with silver like I said before and this is the red that I'm using. And it's called Holiday Red and I got this at Michael's. It's really pretty. Wait till you guys see the colors, it's really pretty. So I'll do that and then come back. Guys, I'm back. And now I need to seal my glass. Here I have a little bit of water mixed in with my Mod Podge. So I'm just gonna dab right over my glass with the mixture. So now while it's wet, I'll go ahead and add some red glitter to it. And the reason I'm adding the red glitter is because the red crushed glass is not as shiny as over or clear. And this is going to make it sparkle. And here's what it looks like when you're done. Okay, and here's one that I finished ahead of time and it's completely dry. So we'll work with this one. Okay, so here's the base to our candle holder. I decided to go ahead and paint the top side silver because it really looked pretty silver. So what I want to do now is add a little bit of bling to the bottom of my candles. I decided to go with this adhesive bling. If you don't have this, you can also use some of the Dollar Tree bling to go around it as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut some strips off. So I'll do two strips of bling at the bottom. One strip here, one strip here, one strip here. Okay, so this piece I'll put at the bottom and this one has two. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what we have. I might go in later and add another strip here, but we'll see. So what I want to do now is just glue this right on top, just like so. Hopefully I would glue this on with some Gorilla Glue, but to save on time today, I'm just going to use my hot glue gun. Just turn 
this upside down. Okay, and then flip it back over. So I'm gonna go ahead and add three rows right here. And then I'll put a candle on the inside and let you guys see what it looks like. Okay, moving on to DIY number two. Here I have an assortment of jars that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And here's the skew for this one. The skew for this one. And the skew for this one. Now, there's something else I'm going to do with these jars after I decorate them. I'm not going to do a whole lot to decorating them. I have some of the pink bling that I'm going to add to these jars. And once I do that, I'll have something that I'm going to add to each jar. And we'll do that in the next video, okay? But right now, we're just going to go ahead and decorate them. And the first thing I want to do is just figure out where I want to put the bling. We're going to do four rows, three rows, and then two rows. Okay guys, I'm back. And again, I'm going to use this pink adhesive bling. Remember, if you don't have this, you can also use the bling from Dollar Tree. And they have pink as well. So on this one, we have four strips. And I'll do that on this one and this one as well. All right, so this one, I'm going to put the three rolls of bling around. Okay, just like that. Isn't it pretty? So this is our third jar. Now, that was a really quick and easy DIY. Again, you don't have to use this particular bling, but if you do want to use this, I'll link it below so you can buy it from Amazon. But like I said in the next video, I'll show you what I'm going to put into each one of these. Okay, moving on to DIY number three. My final DIY for this video. Here I have a Valentine's Day table runner that I found at Hobby Lobby. And it was only $4.99 and they did have the 40% off discount. Next up I have this candle from Dollar Tree. I have this candle holder from Dollar Tree. Um, so the first thing I want to do is remove the label. And there's still like in a line of adhesive on the back. I'm not gonna worry about that because I'll let that be the back of my candle holder. So what I'll do next is take my scissors and I'm gonna use this line and just cut this. So what I want to do is wrap this and cut it. So let's see. Get an idea where I need to cut. So I'm going to cut it here and that's a little bit more than what I need. Alright, so I'm just going to turn it this way and see if it's enough. So I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and brush it onto here. So I'm holding this and pulling this to make sure it's tight. And now I'm going to go over the top with more Mod Podge. Now I'll go ahead and cut the excess off at the bottom. Alright, so now I'll just stand this up like this 
I'm gonna pull away most of what I don't need. Now I'll let this completely dry because it'll be easier to cut when it's dry. Okay guys, I'm back and it's actually the next morning. And boy, what a crazy night I had, y'all don't even wanna know. But anyway, I haven't had any rest. Maybe I'll show you guys about it later, I don't know. But this video was supposed to be out yesterday, but thanks to some craziness, it did not happen. So what I'm gonna do now is just take my scissors and cut this excess off. And now I'm just gonna take my scissors and press it against the top of the candle holder and go around. Okay, so this is what we have. Isn't it cute? Okay, so the very next thing I wanna do is attach this to one of the Dollar Tree candle holders. All right, so here's one of the Dollar Tree candle holders. And I'm simply going to cut this off and glue this to the base. Now this base is not completely flat, so it's gonna be a little tricky. So you wanna put plenty of glue right around the edge of your candle holder to make sure that you get a good contact. So now I'm just going to put this right in the center. And now I'll flip this over and make sure that it looks straight. Perfect. Okay, so now I'll allow the glue to dry once it dries, I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, the base is glued on. And I also have some bling that I'll be using on my candle. I decided that I wanted to go ahead and put some right around the top of here. The two rows is too much, so I'm gonna cut this in half. Okay, so now, this is the back. I'll start here and go all the way around. And just cut off the excess. Okay, next up I have this beautiful red feather boa. And I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. And as you can see, it's only $3.99. Again, all Valentine's items are 40% off. And Dollar Tree sells feather boas as well. So I'm simply going to start in the back. I'm gonna glue this at the base. making sure I'm generous with the glue. Okay, you wanna find the rope that's inside and press it against the hot glue. Okay, now add more hot glue. And guys, I think this candle holder is so cute. It reminds me of a beautiful red evening gown. So feminine and beautiful. And trust me, you will lose a few of these feathers, but that's okay. If you want to, you can take your scissors and just cut away at some of the feathers that's hanging low. Just to give it a little bit more shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on the bottom. Okay, and here's our baby. Now if you want to, you can add some like some smaller rhinestones here. I actually do have some red ones. I think I'll add some red ones on. Okay guys, so I do have some red rhinestones. As soon as I figure out where I put them, I'm going to put some around the base of this as well. This is my finished Valentine's Day candle. And I did one with a white candle, just to give you an idea of what that would look like as well. So we have one and two with this one. I use the Valentine's Day necklace from Dollar Tree as well. They come in pink and red. I put it here and here. And again, I'll add some red rhinestones around the base when I find it. But yeah, this is DIY number three. So now I'll put them on display and let you guys see what they look like. And here's DIY number one. Again, I use red crushed glass to create this candle holder. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day.
And remember, Glam Fam, I have quite a few bottles of this red crushed glass. And if you like for me to do a giveaway with the glass, please comment below. And again, here's DIY number two. This cute set of jars that I found at Dollar Tree. And again, I'll DIY something to put on the inside of these jars. But that'll be in the next video. And finally, DIY number three. And I'm going to call her the Lady in Red. And she's absolutely stunning in her red feather boa dress. Now this is just a quick view of what they both look like. But you will see them again in my Valentine's Day tablescape. Okay everyone, this concludes my video and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to comment if you'd like for me to do a giveaway on the red glass. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.